So once you have set up your workstation, I'm going to teach you the basic controls and shortcuts and hotkeys that you'll be needing in your cleaning up process. So um, the first thing I'm going to teach you is the camera controls. So if you hold Alt and left click drag, you will orbit. If you hold Alt and middle mouse drag, you will track. And if you hold Alt and right click drag, you will zoom in. You can also zoom in using the scroll wheel, but what it's like whichever you want to technique you want to use to zoom in is up to you. Um, now I'm going to move on to the the hotkeys. So there's a lot of hotkeys um, that is presented or like that is provided in Cortex. Um, but I'm just going to show you some of the hotkeys that are very, very needed when you are, or like that are essential when you are cleaning up. And one of those hotkeys is the Q key. So the Q key essentially just snaps to um, wherever, what selected marker that you clicked on. So let's say you're off to Uganda over here. So like you're just, you're, you don't, you can't even see where you are. So and if you press Q, you're going to quickly snap to the marker that you clicked on or that you highlighted on the list over here or that you just pressed on the 3D view. So um, this is very useful when you're just, when you're working on like, when you're really zoomed in, let's say, and you want to work on like very close up different parts of the body. So if you're on the head, you press Q, but you want to go on the legs or like on the tip, on the tip of the toe. So you press, go on the toe and you press Q, you can easily just go back and forth. Um, in conjunction with this also, the W key allows you to track that specific marker that you clicked on. So if you were to scrub through, you can see that it follows wherever the marker goes. Um, another shortcut that is very useful to learn is the I and O key. So the I and O key is primarily used for the graph. So let's say you want to zoom in at, at a specific part of the graph. Um, and to do that, you can ju you just have to go over with your mouse or over and drag over this little red line over here, sorry, that indicates um, uh, your current frame. So if you go over here, go over to where you want, and you hold I or just press I, um, you will zoom in to that specific place and O zooms out. So this is very useful when you just want to uh, accurately investigate how big the a problem is. So let's say like, because um, like this is very like, clustered with a lot of like different different problems. So if you hold I and you go in, you can see that there's a gap here, but there's also like a inconsistency here. So this is very useful. Um, Another hotkey that is useful is the E and D key. So the E and D key essentially just goes down the list on the right here. So you can specifically um, target a marker you want. I mean, you can also use this, um, use the mouse and just scroll down and then just click on whichever you want. But through my experience of putting up uh, mocap files, I find that this method works more efficiently. I mean, it's just up to me or up to your personal preference. So um, uh, another hotkey that is also useful is the S and F key. So the S is essentially like you play backwards or like the, the manual term is that S just goes back to the previous frame. But if you hold S, you'll just play back to very, very slowly. Same goes with the F key. Um, also, the last um, hotkey I want to show you guys is the space. So the space key is essentially just um, whichever uh, window you clicked on, you will enlarge that. Um, this is very useful in 3D view because sometimes um, you really can't see if you're, if you go like really halfway, you can't really see very clearly what you're working on. So it's just nice to be able to snap to whichever window you would like. And that is, that covers mostly um, all the essential hotkeys and then the movement controls. 
Um, next video, I'm going to cover some of the basic tools that you'll learn that you need to learn when you're cleaning up.